This is how to recover and restore your MetaMask account on any other device. So if you have the browser or if you have the smartphone app, you can do this. It's the same process. So I'm gonna show you on the browser. In the top right hand corner, click the three dots and then go down to settings. It's exactly the same on your phone as well. So if you go into your phone app, you'll see the settings icon, click that. Then we need to go down to security and privacy. Now from here, we're gonna get our recovery phrase. Once we have this, we can reload it in the app on a different device. So go down here, it says reveal secret recovery phrase. So we're gonna click that. And then it says get started to answer some questions. So that's fine. If you lose your secret recovery phrase, MetaMask cannot help you, okay? So we're gonna press continue. If anyone, even a support agent asks for your phrase, you are being scammed, okay? This phrase is yours and yours alone. Do not show it to anyone and do not lose it or store it anywhere where it can get stolen. Press continue. And then it says enter the password. So I'll go ahead and do that. This is your app password. And this could be different on different devices that you have. This is nothing to do with your recovery phrase. This is app specific. And actually, if you delete the app and then load it again, you have to put the password in again and it can be something completely different. So it's pretty irrelevant. So if you don't have this, just delete the app and then recover it. As long as you have the recovery phrase, you can do that. But don't delete the app unless you have your recovery phrase first. I'm gonna press next here. It says hold to reveal like this and my recovery phrase is right here in text. Now, if you have the browser and you want to reload it on your phone, you can do that very easily, right? So if I go to my phone right now and then I press get started and what I want to do is import using secret recovery phrase. So I'm gonna click that and then we will go ahead. No thanks, terms of use, okay. I'm gonna read that, I'm gonna press accept right here and then it says secret recovery phrase. Now, if you're doing it on your phone, just go over to the QR code and press QR code here and scan it and it's gonna import your recovery phrase. You don't have to write it down. If you don't wanna do that, just go over to the text option. This is your recovery phrase in text as well. So from here, we now have our recovery phrase. We can reload our same wallet on any other device. So go over to your phone, enter this secret recovery phrase. Once you've done that, you can enter a new password. Again, this is app specific, so it doesn't need to be the same password and you have, as you have on another device. It can be anything you want and it's app specific. If you forget it, just delete the app, reload the app again with the same recovery phrase. But your recovery phrase is important, do not lose that. That's how you recover the wallet. The passwords here are relevant, so just put anything in that you want. I put that password in and it says unlock with face ID. So if you want to do that on your phone, you can do. Press import and that's gonna import my wallet. Now it says my wallet is ready, so I'm gonna press done and it takes me through to the exact same wallet that I have on my browser. This is the same wallet and I've reloaded it here. You can see it's the same address. Now from here, if you have multiple accounts in your wallet, right? So maybe you have multiple accounts that are linked to the same wallet. You can actually reload, reload those here as well. So go to account one, click this, click the drop down. From here, it says at the bottom, add account or hardware wallet. I have multiple accounts. So click this and I'm gonna press add new account and that's gonna add the account for me. So I've got this one already and it's been set up, so that's account two. So if you had previous accounts in your previous wallet that are all linked to the same seed phrase, that's how you recover them here as well on a different device.